morning, Green Spring. Today is Tuesday, September 3rd. I'm Elke Martin, your host. Welcome to the first September show of Village in Motion. And with me in the studio is Janelle Cesari. And I'm sure I pronounced it wrong again. Cesari, but Cesari. that's Cesari, okay. so there you go. Yeah. But you know her anyway as Janelle, <laughs> who is uh, one of our community resource coordinators running around all the time. Right now she's sitting and she'll tell us all about what? September events? Yeah, we have, this is the time of year where we really start doing a lot of events. It's our busiest time from yeah. September to December in community resources. There's a lot of things going on and uh, it's not that you ever not busy. No, as far but as you I know, know. we have that little summer lull a little mm -hmm. bit and then bam, it, everything kicks in at once. Yes. So I just wanted to uh, mention a few things starting in September. Okay. Um, so September we have a lot of movies going on. Um, actually today there's a movie called yes. Come Before Winter that's sponsored by Pastoral Ministries and it's in the theater at one o'clock. And then there is a Jewish theme movie tomorrow called The Catcher Was a Spy. That's mm -hmm. also in the theater. Um, then we have our usual Friday night movies and Saturday night movies and they're all on the entertainment calendar and on the flyers on the bulletin board if you want to know what those movies are. I have them in my calendar already. I do that at the beginning of every month. Well, they, they Because there's so many interesting things going on. You don't want to miss them. Yeah, right? and, yeah, and the people that pick the movies for Friday night and Saturday night, they pick really good movies. I like classic movies. Mm -hmm. They pick a lot of things. I say, you know, I've always wanted to see that. Yeah. Um, and then Saturday, this Saturday the 7th, I can't believe it's September 7th already. Yes. Um, we have a uh, Saturday night live in the theater, and it is at 7 o'clock. And it's a group called Moonlight Cabaret. And I so that's not a theater. I mean, that's not a movie. That's no, a live show. No, it's a show. live show in the theater. And I think this might be, they might be new. Um, and I had to look them up because I don't sit on the entertainment roundtable. But what I saw is that they're a local group and they do songs from the 1920s to 1980s. Mm -hmm. So even my decade. They even do songs from my decade. So. Yeah. Uh, rock standards, Broadway, disco. Oh my! That, that ought to be yes. fun. That uh -huh. sounds like a really good time. And I did want to mention that um, for this particular Saturday Night Live, it is five dollars at the door. Okay. I wanted to make sure I got that in. Yeah. And then you know we always have our Sydney Foster concert series, and that will be Sunday the fifteenth at two thirty in Hunter's Crossing, and that will be the Symphony Orchestra of Northern Virginia. Oh. And I look them up too, and apparently their home base, they play in the Masonic Temple in Old Town, right. which is a really cool place. Have mm -hmm. you ever been there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. there once. It's a yeah. really cool place. Yeah. So we've got It's two. also the highest spot in Alexandria. So yes. when you go walking and go up there, yeah, they have a nice overview. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's the entertainment roundtable. One on Saturday the 7th, Moonlight Cabaret. And on Sunday the 15th. Wait a minute, what is Saturday the 7th? Moonlight Cabaret, Saturday Night Live. That's the one oh, we Oh, I was going to say, yes, yeah. that's not. Mm -hmm. I'm just we'll summarizing it. Yeah, again. oh, okay. And then on the 15th, we have the Symphony Orchestra of Northern Virginia. Right. Also, I wanted to mention, um, I didn't get this one on the entertainment calendar because I just found out about it. There is a chorister's concert on Saturday the 21st. Apparently, it's in the chapel. Mm -hmm. More information to come. We'll have a flyer out for that. Um, and then there's a worship concert on Monday, September 30th, sponsored by Green Spring Fellowship. And that's on Monday, September 30th in the chapel at seven o'clock. Okay. So just a couple highlights for September. Um, this is a month for community resources where we're doing a lot of planning and things. Mm -hmm. And um, we are still, as a lot of resident group leaders know, we've just collected a lot of information on the resident groups. And this is something we do every year. So. We make sure we have accurate records and community resources of what groups exist on campus. Right. Who's the group leader? Which groups are really alive, you which mean, right? Which groups are still meeting? I won't yes. say really alive, but uh, which groups still meet and where they meet. And so we collect this information and we keep an accurate listing of that. Um, and also, I also wanted to mention, I'm not going to talk too much about room reservations because that's really specific to resident group leaders. Um, there was a, a misprint in the flash that said there was an info session on September 6th. That's right, I've got yeah. that in my calendar that's too. Not, that's wrong, it's actually September 11th. Oh, okay. But that's really just for resident group leaders to be yes. concerned with yeah. and we'll communicate with them directly. But I okay. did want to mention that. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And I, do you know the time? I don't. On the 11th? 
Okay, so Anyone we'll just have to wait. Questions? Whoever um, is a group leader has to wait to get more information. Yeah, um, I should know it, but I can't remember. Um, if you have any questions about... That's why you fit right in. <laughs> I Sorry. Do. You I knew am. I had to say that. <laughs> I, I told Sue Frankie I'm going to join one of her memory support groups mm -hmm. of memory care. Um, so if anyone has any questions, if you are a resident group leader and you have any questions, you can call Amber, Dwayne, or me, and we can discuss. Yeah. Okay? Thanks. Yeah. And now mm -hmm. to talk about some more upcoming things. Yes. That are not necessarily in September, but on the oh, horizon okay. that mm -hmm. start getting planned in September. Mm -hmm. And one of the big things, we, we've had two meetings already about it, is Staff Appreciation Fund. Oh, of course. Otherwise known Staff as Appreci S -A -F. A -F. Yes. That normally happens in the fall, I recall. And yes. then in December is the, the handout. Mm -hmm. or, 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 that's a wrong word, probably. Mm -hmm. but the check distribution. Yes, exactly, yes. that. Yes. Yeah. So okay, th so that, year, you're right. That's a bit away in most people's minds. Yeah, mm -hmm. but not in ours because it's, it takes a lot of planning behind the scenes. And this Staff Appreciation Fund is for hourly workers right. here at Greenspring. And the reason why it's always October to December is because the idea of it is to give the hourly staff a monetary gift in time for the holidays. You know, I remember when I was a kid, my dad, he was a steel worker, and every October he would get what he would call the Christmas club. Yes. I, you know, and I realized what that was is that's what my mom would use to buy us gifts. Right. So that's why people often say, why is SAF always October to December? And that is why, because it really is a, it's part of the time for giving. Mm -hmm. And there'll be much more information to come, but I did want to point out that this is, I work collaboratively, co easy for me to say. I work with yes. the uh, resident- Together. Together, yes. I work with the resident life committee chair, who is Mary Sue Garner uh -huh. and her committee. And Community Resources works with the committee. So this is a really nice, campaign because it is something that residents work with staff to accomplish yes so they and residents have always been very engaged if I yes. remember correctly yeah and yeah it, it's a wonderful thing mm -hmm. it's very much we help you you help us you know a lot of the hourly workers here they don't make a lot of money mm -hmm. and as you know they can't accept tips that's right so let's say you have a housekeeper who's fabulous and you love him or her or there's a, a wait staff or someone who works in dining and you see them work so hard and you would love to give them a tip and as you know and you would give a tip if it was a regular restaurant yes but as yeah. you know you can't right so mm -hmm. that's what staff appreciation is all about it's residents giving Hourly staff, but it's only hourly. It is not man. It's not um, salary. Management, yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we do is we collect it, and then we distribute it. And, it's and I think it's distributed uh, according to how many hours they worked, right? Yeah, it, there's different there's a people. formula. So full full time and part time is different, and yeah, yeah there is a formula. Exactly. There's a complex mm -hmm. formula that mm -hmm. HR uses that. Mm -hmm. um, Probably multiplied by pi or something. Yeah, and I mean a lot of it's based on seniority. You know, yes. if you've been mm -hmm. here 15 years, you're obviously going to get more than someone who's here a year. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a wonderful time of year. It's a great. I I'm always amazed at the generosity of the residents mm -hmm. and much appreciated by the staff. Mm -hmm. So that will be. Oh, of course. Yeah. I did mention the dates. So that will be starting up October 7th. And how will we know that it starts off? Because They're, you said a lot of things are happening behind yeah. the scenes now yeah. uh, until it culminates in December. Well, you'll you start know. to see the posters and flyers and everything. But this year we're going to do something different. We wanted to kick it off more because we don't usually do a big kickoff event. We usually do That's everything right. at the end. Yeah, yeah. So this year, working with the Resident Life Committee, we decided that we would like a kickoff event when that will be October 11th. It's a free concert um, and refreshments, more info to come. But we, we also realized that some of the residents who've been here for years, if they hear SAF, they know what it means. But if you're a new resident, yeah. you may not understand what it's all about. That's right. So throwing that acronym around, you know, we want it to have meaning to people. So we're going to use that October 11th event to gather the residents up and let them know what it's all about to either refresh their memories or if they're new to let them know what it's all about. I think that makes a lot of sense yeah. to, to put some meaning and some meat around it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other fun thing that soon I have to start planning because we collect data for this is the pet parade. Data for the, the data. pet parade. Data, yeah, well I okay. should say forms, yes. Um, the pet parade this year, if if, if people don't know, they've done the pet parade here for years. Yes. Um, and this will be my fourth one. 
I love it. It's on Saturday, October 26th at 2 o'clock in Hunter's Crossing. And I happen to know there are a lot of new residents here with the dogs because oh, I'm really? always on the lookout. Uh huh. Whenever I walk outside and I see a new resident with a new dog, yeah. I tell them about the pet parade. Data, we want your data. <laughs> I try to encourage them. So th just so everyone knows, the forms for that will be coming out probably later in September because I usually have to allow a month to make sure I have enough dogs for the show. It is a really fun event. Yes. People, if, if you are in the least interested in or delighted by dogs, you should come and make room for that show. And, and it's, it's a hilarious Yes. event in my mind anyway and it's a Halloween you have, pet parade exactly you don't just have dogs being dressed up for Halloween but oftentimes the dog owners yeah. are paired up in their costumes with their dogs mm -hmm. amazing to me free event Saturday October 26th okay two o'clock you can bring your granddaughter grands great grandson whatever you want it's free for residents and it's tons of fun mm-hmm so that's great yeah yeah so any last minute thought? We, we have an, a few minutes left. Well, you, uh, you always encourage people to come to you and talk and give you information early. Yes. Right? Yeah, and I, I would just like to thank, I would like to use this opportunity to thank all the resident group leaders and residents for their patience. Um, you know, we all realize in community resources, the room reservation situation, everybody's very anxious. But I can reassure the group leaders that we're, we're going to take care of it and you will get a room for next year. And we were doing our darndest. And part of the reason why we're taking so long is we are really thinking yeah. through how we're going to do it, yeah. how we can make sure people need the rooms that they need to get. And we appreciate everybody's patience. Well, let me take this opportunity then to thank you and your colleagues because I think these are not easy times for anybody. No. And under the circumstances, you're doing a great job, thank I find. You. Yeah. With the groups that I am part of or that I lead, I find that you always find a solution. So yes. I'm, I've been impressed. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, that. what a nice way to end this. Thank you for being here today, <laughs> Janelle. And good luck with all your, your work and scheduling and, the, and people. You know where to go to Janelle or to Amber or to Dwayne if you have questions about community resources.